please pray for me. What do I think when someone says that to me in the comments section? Good morning, guys. It's I, John, out here on the back deck, enjoying a beautiful morning. There is literally not a cloud in the sky. It is beautiful up there. Uh, and I am having a lovely mug of coffee. Mm. Right here in the now. It's all very frothy this morning. Uh, I wanted to hop on because this morning I got another message that said, please pray for me. And every time I hear someone say, please pray for me, or I read someone say, please pray for me on my comments section, I go through a, a process of thought that I wanted to share with you. When someone says, please pray for me, I have great compassion for them. I have great compassion for them because they feel like they're lost. They feel like they're stuck. They feel like they're... Um, in a place of desperation, please pray for me. For someone to reach out and say, please pray for me, they're just looking for someone who will love them and let them know it's going to be okay. Um, but when someone says, please pray for me, it's almost always right after they've given me all the reasons why they're disempowered. You know, it's hard to do this. I'm tr struggling to do that. I'm having a tough time to do this. I'm trying to do that. And praying for them, in my, in my personal opinion, doesn't help. I, I don't think it helps. Because as the Bible itself says, it is your faith that heals you. You can ask a mountain to move. It'll move. Nothing's impossible for you. Joshua's teaching is all about you stepping into your power of creation stepping into your divinity and becoming the the person who's creating your life. Please pray for me is a plea for someone who doesn't feel like they're in control. It's 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 a plea from someone who feels that they are that they uh, that they can't do it alone. And I think sending positive intentions that way are beautiful and I think that I think that sending them that loving intention is great, which is what some many people would call prayer. But it doesn't fix the problem. It doesn't fix the problem because the problem comes in the disempowerment. The problem comes in the struggle that they're choosing to create, and they are creating. And they're going to say, well, I didn't choose to create this. Your belief that you are out of control of it creates things that you're out of control of. And it comes back to the idea of you deciding that you are creating a joyful life and you are creating a healthy life and you are creating these things. Please pray for me is asking someone else to fix it for you. But that's, that's not what Jeshua taught. That's not what Buddha taught. That's not what Krishna taught. Your thoughts create your world. That's what Buddha was talking about. And the Bhagavad Gita says, thought by thought you forge your destiny. When you think thoughts of disempowerment, you're forging a destiny of disempowerment. It always comes back to you and you and your choice and your action. Where people are struggling and needing needing quote unquote prayer is when they are so focused on something negative about to happen or something negative that has happened, or they're so focused on that. And then I always go back to the Mother Teresa story, you know. <laughs> don't don't go to the anti war rally, go to the pro peace rally. Focus on the positive outcome. Focus, shift your mind into creating something better. Believe it is being received into your now. So when I when I when someone says to me, "Please pray for me," I I instantly feel that compassion for them. In, instantly feel the compassion for them, and I try to respond with something that says, "You've got this. You have the power. You can do this," because. In my personal belief system, that's the only way it gets fixed. That's the only way it gets fixed is for them to step up and create something different. It is their faith that heals them. And them putting faith in other people having to do it for them or, or miraculous prayer of someone else, I, I think is a, uh, is a, unfortunately, it's, it's a symptom 
of their disempowerment. And I think that we can absolutely send positive intentions, and you can call that prayer, but I think it's more important to to take the time to let them know that they have the power within themselves, empower them, embolden them, make them feel like a creator, let them see their divinity, show them that they don't need to ask others to, to help them in in situations like that, right? Yeah, of course, if you're trying to push up a wall of a house, you need help, right? But in the circumstances of life, we are creating that. We are creating that. And to come to a place where things are so desperate, absolutely. If they say, you know, please pray for me, in that one moment, I will send them, I will send them my positive intentions. Best outcome for all involved. I will, I will send that to them at that moment. But I will not, in any way, shape, or form, make that part of a daily prayer ritual. Because first of all, I don't pray. I don't, I don't believe in prayer or affirmation because I, I think they're just rote words that are being said where, instead of doing something in the here and now. I am compassionate to what they're going through, but I don't think that continuing to focus on them needing prayer actually helps in any way, shape, or form. I think empowering them to change their life is the number one thing I could do for them. And that's my thought on this. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.